G'day everyone, you are watching the Space Logs. Uh, we've got another in real life battle report here featuring some models I've recently painted on the Empire side of things, very much in anticipation for Thrawn's box getting released uh, later this month, i.e. August, and to debut the Never Tell Me The Odds mission pack here on the channel. Before this video, I'd actually not played with this mission pack, so I'm very much excited to dive into it with you all. Um, if you're enjoying what we're doing on the channel, please uh, consider liking and subscribing. Uh, we'd very much appreciate it. So to kick us off today, we've got a Republic Strike team featuring everyone's favorite Ewan McGregor lookalike in General Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he's bringing along with him uh, Rex and the ARF Troopers. Rex, of course, has an incredible amount of synergy with Obi's knowledge and defense ability, and the ARF Troopers will allow the Galactic Republic characters um, to get a lot more damage and conditions through with their attacks, thanks to that coordinated fire expose. Rex is also more than fast enough to make it um, to those far off side objectives that are present here in Never Tell Me The Odds. And our second squad is Ahsoka, who's another incredibly fast character with her force speed and of course her advance when a friendly unit gets wounded, uh, which could yeah certainly come in handy in, in crossing the board and, and making sure that we get to those, those key objectives. Along with her, we've got Django, everyone's favorite bounty hunter, and the two 12th clone troopers. And of course, Django is incredibly fast as well, and he can also pin people with capture wire, and the 212 uh, can pin people with a coordinated fire, um, and that will, you know, hopefully sort of go toward that plan of, of slowing down the dark side team while making sure that we can get to where we need. Um, back on the channel for the dark side is, of course, Asajj Ventress, and she brings a very force neutral package with Kraken and the Magna Guard here. So the Magna Guard will allow to, oh sorry, will be allowed to follow her around um, and, and give Asajj cover, and they can shove a lot of characters off of objectives themselves with their fantastic combat tree. And then Kraken has a beautiful range attack. Um, he's, you know, sort of sturdy and, and, and resilient, and he assists the game plan of those Magna Guard getting where they want to be and, and causing a nuisance. Uh, and then, of course, for the first time on the channel, we have the Dark Lord, Darth Vader, Jedi Hunter, and also my newly painted Stormtroopers and Stormtrooper Sergeant, and I'm really excited to show everyone them. So Darth Vader here is essentially going to be amplifying the game plan of everyone on the board with your hatred makes you powerful um, because it, basically everyone, I think with the exception of Kraken here, has heals in their combat tree. Um, and going off the long chance data as well, Asajj's best pairing is under Vader Jedi Hunter. So yeah, really, really excited to see how, how that plays out on the table. This here is our QR code for our Patreon, our podcast, and our Discord server. Um, if you don't know by now, the Space Slugs do a monthly Shatterpoint podcast with a main topic. And as of this month, uh, August, have also started doing a shorter form episode for each squad pack that's released. And the first of those will be released on the 9th of August. So yeah, do stay tuned for that. If there's anything specific you'd like to see on the channel or have discussed on the podcast, yeah, please consider joining our Patreon. We've just released some new tiers and they'll hopefully allow the community to have you know, a greater contribution to what content we bring you. So we're very, very excited to see where that goes. All right, so onto the game. We have the Galactic Republic winning the priority role. They dropped Ahsoka first. That's counted by Asajj here, you can see. Asajj mainly wants to steer clear of Ahsoka and her revenge triggers. Then we've got a so uh, sorry, General Obi-Wan Kenobi countering the Asajj play, who can hopefully counter the shoves and stuff like that and keep his fragile clones away from Darth Vader, you can see in the distance. Um, and yeah, so pour yourself a nice hot cup of joe on this uh, winter's day and, and let's get started. So the first mission that we pull, this is from the perspective of the Galactic Republic. This is Daring Gamble. And the first Galactic Republic card is the Arf Trooper. So that's fine. There's no real reserve trigger that we want to have in here. It's going to be mainly situational. So we're going to start with a defensive maneuver um, from the Arf Troopers there. That's going to be followed by a take cover. And then we're going to climb with one and then uh, just advance with the other. And you can see that we just want to sort of stay as far back from the midline as possible. That's going to allow us to be safe from from potential short range melee attacks, you know, things that don't have a double advance. Um, and it's gonna allow us to use hunkers to go back on the point um, if we do inevitably get shoved off. So that's the real power of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And here you can see the advance move from the lower tier aft, and then the advance climb, I should say, from the aft behind the building there. So yeah, just a standard sort of play. We're spreading our coordinated fire and we're also spreading our units across multiple points. 
we don't really want to have the same characters from one unit occupying one point until a lot later in the game. So here's the overhead view. I do switch the objective, also the perspective later on, um, so we can have it from the Separatist player so it's consistent. But yeah, capturing three, and then we get to go from Kraken. Now I do make an error in terms of the actions that are done at, on camera, but I do fix it up off camera. So you'll accidentally see after I use do not let them escape on the Magna Guard, uh, I'll see, I'll be doing a take cover on Kraken followed by a move, followed by a range attack but what I'd done is I've just done the move or the advance and then the range attack so just just ignore the take cover uh, it's not really important but essentially what we're trying to do here is have a ranged attack on that aft trooper that's on top of the ledge there who's going to be rolling a bucket load of dice but if we can manage to get a free tactical network we are going to take it because we just want to make sure that we can occupy that central point and threaten those middle three objectives in in the center of the map there so this is going to be the ranged attack again ignoring the take cover it's not a very good roll so we're unlikely to get more than just that crit through based on lay low because you know they're adding an expertise they're rolling a whole bunch of dice there we go so yeah just not going to work except for the, the the single the single success there from the crit uh, which is still fine so that'll be a damage and a pin i believe i end up doing to those aft troopers and i do end up just spending the one force for the tactical network to yeah make sure that we've got as many bodies on that point as possible and then we can sort of spread our wings from there from Asajj's advance and all that kind of stuff so only scoring two so it's not fantastic i am feeling the sort of constraints from this mission pack playing without an infiltrator unit or you know an abundance of movement but it is what it is and this is why we play these learning games so galactic republic draw django because galactic republic already control three objectives and there's not really uh unless he gets super deep on his tree against kraken there's not really a lot that django can do to influence that objective that has kraken and the magna guard on it but what he can do is set himself up to threaten it so that's sort of what i'm doing here i'm doing a focus jump I'm doing a take cover and then I'm doing a force jump um, which is essentially all of his actions and then he's spreading that capture wire network he's threatening a shadow point activation um, and you know that'll allow me to score four if the separatist player doesn't do more about reinforcing that point so scoring three sort of bringing it back a little bit and putting Django in a really good position for the future so uh, it looks like the Stormtrooper Sergeant is the next go. This is going to be the first ever Stormtrooper Sergeant activation I've ever used, so that's really cool. We're going to use the advanced tactical ability that he has on the Stormtroopers. They're the only target that he can do, so they will be taking a damage. But we're just going to reinforce that center objective with Kraken and the Magna Guard because that'll turn off any Shatterpoint shenanigans that Django can do, at least to take that point. So Django can, of course, go and take the, you know, the point on the on the bridge here that you can see to the left of the stormtrooper sergeant but what he'll do is just do an advance be within range two of that objective because he couldn't get up there and have a shot at Django. and what we'll try and do is get a pin onto Django from his expertise tree so that's the hope we unfortunately don't get any expertise um, and Django's unlikely to take a lot of damage rolling so many dice but he only gets yeah uh, I think three blocks with that expertise so two will go through and I believe that gets the pin that we're after on Django and that really stunts his activation still only scoring two but yeah we're sort of slowing down that that shatter point threat that Django's presenting which I which I really like so yeah we'll see how the Galactic Republic counter that we get Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's not really doing anything for us here. So what we'll do is whack him in reserve. It does cost a force, unfortunately, because we don't have a, you know, a card in reserve now. Um, but he gets to jump for free. And then we get the almighty Captain Rex. So he's going to use get a move on soldier on himself because Obi-Wan's already put himself in a threatening position. Gets a hunker, clears the pin off those aft troopers because he's within range two and he gets a hunker and he gets to heal because he's nuts. Then we'll spend a defensive maneuver, do the same thing. Uh, so we're healing the afts back up to full. And then we'll have a crack into the Magna Guard at range five. So we're just going to try and shove them down the map, which will open back up the play that we talked about with Django on a shadow point before to threaten that objective. So Rex is going to guarantee those two shoves because of those two crits. They're the, if you go down the bottom of his combat tree, they're of course his first two successes. And thankfully they are crits because the Magna Guard do block a lot of strikes there. So there you go. There's the first shove. Uh, we're going to have another one followed up there. And Rex will just put himself 
with um, an advance because he's still got one action in the bag. Um, so that's so he, he's not going to take an advance. He's just going to take a take cover. So he ends up in with three hunker tokens, and Rex is just unreal. So another three points scored for the Galactic Republic, and that is what we look like. So ready for the middle, uh, ready for struggle number two down the middle with Rex and Django and, and stuff like that. Uh, we do draw the Magna Guard. They're really good reactively, and they're not in a very good or threatening position at the moment and so we'll put them in reserve and we get the stormtroopers so uh, we can do some climbs and we can end up threatening the back left objective on the screen so that's a climb using that ingress point and then we've just got that stormtrooper sort of sitting himself on top of the ingress point and then we'll use one force to get ourselves a focus and a dash and have some cracks into Django, as we said. So yeah, the expertise tree on the Stormtroopers is both good and bad. Really, we're looking for the pin, as we said before, to shut down that potential Shatterpoint activation. So four expertise is going to be a, a crit, a damage and a pin. Django's likely going to be blocking all of the strikes anyway with so many dice. Um, yeah, so that's that's a fair result and any expertise will just be adding extra damage because you know Django's already pinned at this point. So this is the second guy uh, shooting into Django uh, which will just result in an extra two damage because the first the first step in the combat tree of the Stormtroopers is only a single damage. So uh, a crit going through and the pin. Django's already pinned, so two damage total. And this is what we have to look at. So three points now scored for the Dark Side player. And we're starting to claw back the struggle unless, you know, the Galactic Republic have anything to say about it. So let's see what they draw. Ahsoka. Okay, so this is a really good activation for the Galactic Republic to try and take that back right objective back i should say <laughs> so she'll use four speed to jump up the ingress point here um, she won't need to do an advance to get into engagement range and instead can take cover which you know ob1 loves it opens up so many defensive plays for her she'll flip over into reverse grip and have a crack trying to get some shoves on the stormtroopers which is very likely considering that they only roll four in combat you know we could get lucky and get a wound as well and we do not here so we end up going to do i think two shoves a jump six damage and a pin on the stormtroopers which is really nice and yeah keeping that hunker just opens up so much we can also try and get into a position where um, you know, we can we can hold that objective and threaten the reposition and attack or the advance and attack off of uh, a wound, which, you know, won't really have much effect right now uh, if we want to maintain control of that objective. But, you know, it's still worth uh, considering for the dark side player. So let's see what they do. We're still not in a good position to bring the Magna Guard out because we haven't moved with a Sarge yet, but we can try for a Django wound here. So that's what we're going to do with a ranged attack. Now, it is worth noting that I did consider whether or not Ahsoka could make the back left objective uh, with a revenge trigger, but she wouldn't have enough room to either take the ingress point and be within range of the objective or the full advance wouldn't make it. So yeah, uh, didn't matter. Uh, we still get the wound on Django Fett. Uh, we're not under threat of Ahsoka coming and stealing an objective off of us in our own turn. Um, so yeah, that's sort of what we do. We do follow up the shove very briefly, as you'll see here, whoop, with Darth Vader. And then we're just taking advance. And we're not going to go up the ingress point because we don't want to go up and then um, have Ahsoka have a cheeky crack at us. Uh, but it is what it is. So going to be a momentum scored and we're landing in the middle to give both players a momentum. And yeah, that's the dark side play. And now we have the two on two. So this is a really cool play that I love from captain rex if it's you know if if it ends up working out this is why i love positioning captain rex so centrally so if he doesn't get wounded then he can also always use i'm always first kid so what we're going to try and do is get a single shove from the combat tree onto the kraken there if we get the shove we'll be able to shove ourselves onto the objective where the stormtrooper and kraken are um you know kraken won't be shoved but you can still shove yourself even if your opponent is steadfast you can still follow up so we've done an advance and we've done a climb now if we get that shove we'll consider using our Moa's first kid on captain rex because then he'll be able to also attack into kraken he'll be able to dash onto the objective himself and then we'll be able to steal that objective with a 2v1 um, because kraken will likely be shoved off at that point and then you know the stormtrooper is 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 the only one guarding the objective unfortunately we don't get it <laughs> but it is what it is so we get to conserve the force um, and then the second uh, attack is just into the stormtroopers to get the wound there so that's essentially what we're looking at we got a wound and um three points back for the galactic republic 
Uh, and yeah, we're on to the Separatists again. This is where Asajj comes in and we can start thinking about Magna Guard coming out of reserve in the following turn. So she's going to use a force jump or Dathomirian dexterity I should say. She's going to hit that ingress point. She's then going to do an advance which you can see here and she's just going to go Hail Mary into one of those aft troopers. This is triggering protection protocols from the Magna Guard of course to put them on the objective and what we're going to try and do is probably do a force push on one of the aft troopers and a attack onto another. So this this is our second Dathomirian Dexterity move. We're probably going to be sticking into Makashi here, not Jarkai, because Makashi has a much, much better expertise tree and has heals on the combat tree, so we get to add, uh, you know, dice from the Vader damage and then heal it back. So we're just looking for a full combat tree here. You can see that one expertise converts into two criticals. So automatically, we're just going to get the full tree here. Uh, and we're probably going to go for the reposition, healing, and the free force push. And I think it's four damage total. So that's what we're going for. The jump is going to put us down on top of that objective. And we're actually going to force push the bottom tier aft trooper. Because noting that there's a few ingress points around, um, I think if we force pushed the top aft trooper, he'd just be able to take an ingress point back onto the point. And this is actually forcing the hunkers to be spent on the defense and to move back both of the aft troopers onto the back point. So unfortunately we didn't get like a you know a big two point swing there for the separatists we still score three and put it back in the middle but we don't score four but that's okay like we've gotten rid of all of the hunker tokens on those aft troopers and we can start really threatening them at the back there as well so the final i guess you could say random order draw is of course the shadow point for the galactic republic going to be a pretty simple one here we're just going to take an advance action and then take cover <clears throat> Sorry, to gain a hunker token, which is beautiful, as we said before with Obi-Wan Kenobi, scoring three for the Galactic Republic. And yeah, whilst it's not a big swing turn, it does put them into a pretty commanding position as they're only two away from the struggle win at the end of this activation. So we'll have to see. I believe the Shatterpoint uh, card is coming up from the Dark Side player as well. So yeah, either Shatterpoint or the Magna Guard. Magna Guard, again, don't have an absolutely awesome. Uh, activation opportunity here so yeah we'll take the shadow point we'll use it on Darth Vader um, because of where the stormtrooper sergeant is underneath Ahsoka if we wound the 212s here uh, and Ahsoka decides to use a revenge trigger on Vader she'll actually lose control of the objective and um, yeah that's it's basically a good opportunity for Vader to take a wound here on the 212s so he'll use Vader's fury he'll take two damage from your hatred makes you powerful and almost certainly get the one shot on the 212s and that's exactly what happens uh, I do need to get a dice tray I'm really sorry sometimes I cut out some of the defense dice just because I'm trying to do so many different things at once it's um yeah but we'll, by the next video I'm really going to try and get a dice tray sorted out which I think will be really beneficial so uh it goes back into the middle uh, a momentum scored for the Galactic Republic player sorry for the uh, for the for the dark side player and for the Galactic Republic player because it lands in the middle uh, but also another momentum scored for the dark side player now this is a struggle winning play potentially uh we've got Obi-Wan if he can get deep enough into Kraken here then he can actually get the wound and take control of the objective. So because the 212s attacked him previously, he is pinned, and the fifth step on Obi-Wan's combat tree is a pin. So if we can get deep enough, we can get the wound on Kraken, which would be very nice. So our last force for the Galactic Republic player is spent on Hello there. And yeah, let's just see if we can get deep enough on that combat tree. So we end up on... What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight successes for Obi. So yeah, we are going to get a five through. Uh, oh, so no, it's a full tree. There you go. Sorry about the, the dice uh, cutting off there again. So we're going to get a, a whole bunch of shoves, a whole bunch of conditions on Kraken. I think it is an expose, a disarm. A pin is already happening there. Um, yeah, just brutal. Just absolutely brutal. Sometimes Obi goes off, and this is exactly why I love him so much, because he's just able to shut down so many activations. And you can see I've put the struggle token next to the momentum there, which uh, denotes that the Galactic Republic have one struggle number one. Okay, and this is going to be the struggle three layout. So you can see that the Separatist player has decided to take the top left and the bottom left and then the middle on the right. That is the priority. That's exactly where the Magna Guard and Asajj are controlling at the moment. 
the two on twos are of course wounded so Darth Vader is going to have control of that but unfortunately the Magna Guard won't be able to contest where Ahsoka is because um, a climb and a take cover is not going to be enough movement so they are going to cede control of that one but they can at least get themselves into a position where it's threatened uh, you know in, in, uh, in, in subsequent turns. So here you see the Magna Guard just doing an advance. They'll protect uh, Asajj a little bit better from engagement by being right next to her. And this other Magna Guard is just going to do a uh, uh, an advance to take the ingress point and then we'll do a take cover action, just setting themselves up to be moved by Kraken in, in future turns, as we said. Unfortunately, that, of course, is the priority objective that turns up for the Galactic Republic. Um, so it'll be a good start for the old Galactic Republic with Ahsoka there, and we'll see what we draw. So this is the two on twos. Now they have a really good line of play with um, with Captain Rex and uh, I'm Always First Kid. So they'll wake up. If we can get Darth Vader off of that objective there um, with some shoves from Captain Rex, etc., yeah, we can really reinforce some objectives and, and take take a take a swing back or put a stride back in the galactic republic steps so uh, we've got one damage there and three successes from the one on the ground that's just really it's unimportant it's just really opening up um the play for i'm always first kid from rex the second two and two elects not to attack because we don't want to get don't want to get reposted and then we do a crit and yeah that's just enough for one shove which is exactly what the uh what the two on two needed to take control of the objective so um yep there we go so three successes actually go through on captain rex uh, we do get the shove down on vader um rex will get to follow up if he feels like it and the two one twos can do a different action i believe i end up just sending the one on the floor uh down uh, with an advance using the ingress point just to take um or reinforce the objective there and then we end up spending some more force for a defensive maneuver um just to put them on top of the objective and, and turn their hunker shenanigans back online so a force expensive turn but at least gives us some solid uh, control of the left hand side there um the bottom left objective turns up the priority again for the second turn in a row uh, and we'll see what the dark side gets. It is Darth Vader. Uh, Darth Vader will just basically climb, use Vader's fury, and basically, yeah, get that second wound token on to um, the two on twos there. Uh, not a fantastic roll for the Dark Lord, um, but, you know, probably enough to get the one shot onto the poor two on twos with Vader's fury and, you know, all the shenanigans and extra dice, etc. Uh, yeah, not a great roll from the two on twos. I believe it's only one block. Um, not a full tree for Vader, but enough to wound him. And he's just going to put himself outside of range of uh, Ahsoka's revenge shot by putting himself on the back um, behind, you know, behind that two on two. Uh, that, of course, Vader's objective is the priority, and that's perfect for Captain Rex because Captain Rex is just going to do a climb, put himself outside of range two of Vader so he doesn't get reposted, and yeah, we just want more shoves. So the more shoves, the merrier. Darth Vader is not in his defensive side here, I believe, so we get a full seven successes um, from... Uh, from Captain Rex, and sorry, he is in his defensive side, but three successes is enough for a double shove on Darth Vader. So uh, all the hard work undone by, you know, Captain Rex once, uh, you know, Anakin Skywalker's most trusted clone ally has turned into his, uh, his worst enemy in this game, unfortunately. And again, that bottom left-hand side objective just keeps popping up. So yeah, hotly contested on the left flank. It's good that the Magna Guard and Asajj are on the right there. Um, but um, yeah, it just really prevents the Galactic Republic uh, getting over there. But yeah, not that they need it, unfortunately, because for the dark side player, they keep yeah just turning up left. Um, so we get the Stormtroopers after a, a Shatterpoint reshuffle. We'll do a take cover to get outside of engagement range of Obi-Wan Kenobi and all that kind of good stuff. Um, uh, we're going to do a bit of a force dump here as well by taking our dash from our active ability but we won't be taking the damage to get a focus because we want to get all of our bodies up on that bottom left objective there uh, so there's the advance and here's the climb so we're, yeah just basically uh, out, out maneuvering ahsoka in terms of bodies there because the 212s are wounded and that will be uh, three points scored for the uh, the dark side so this is the first time that the right hand side objective turns up as the priority we do get ahsoka ahsoka doesn't really have any plays to influence the right side of the board so she'll go into reserve and a shadow point is a little bit better 
and that shutter point will be used on the aft troopers. Not sure why I didn't like film it all point, but basically they're just going to do uh, an attack into Ahsoka. Sorry, Asage. Too many A's. I really apologize for cutting off the dice here, but I do show how many successes go through. So that'll be a pin and a shove on Asage, which is nice. Uh, and we're just trying to see if we can get her um, with a second shove and try and put those aft troopers on the objective. So we'll see how we go with the second attack. Um, it's D again so we get another five successes total which is good um, and let's see what happens <laughs> that is shocking so we actually get the the basic one activation one shot on 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 Asajj there which is absolutely massive um, yeah I mean blows out her force economy uh, ensures that the aft troopers can get on the objective with an advance here um, so yeah just a really powerful um, yeah, shadow point activation from from the aft troopers. The little aft that could sometimes they just go off. Uh, also worth noting that challenging the odds was um, supporting units. I decided not to spend the force on moving the struggle tracker um, for the for the aft just to give me a little bit more force economy on the Galactic Republic side. I'm a little ambivalent about doing the challenging the odds with such a force restrictive team, uh, but it is what it is. So shadow point pulled uh, for the dark side. Uh, we'll have a attack into Rex. Rex doesn't have a hunker. Um, so he's not steadfast, uh, which means that, you know, we can try and get either the shoves or the one shot or both. Who knows? We don't really mind at this stage. Um, that little expertise should be a, uh, a strike. Um, I did check it on the camera before I rolled the defense dice. That's why we had a little bit of a cut there. Uh, and we do end up getting the one shot, which is nice. And, uh, if ahsoka decides to use her revenge trigger um i don't think she'll be able to reach just because of the amount of bases between uh you know the ingress point and of course darth vader so that's why darth vader's positioned himself there to body block him which is nice uh, ahsoka does get pulled here so instead of um you know trying to use a revenge trigger we're going to use a force speed uh, and then an advance um, to take the ingress point and then try and punch beta in the back of the head. Uh, if we can get some one shot here, that would be amazing. We do flip over into the Jar Kai stance, uh, which will allow her to get six damage on three successes, which is exactly what we need as Darth Vader has, I believe, five or six health left. Um, so let's see if we can. Uh, it also means that we can disarm on success number two, which will you know, make sure that that revenge shot isn't as strong. I've we do get it. So we get the one shot. We've put the disarm token out. Uh, expertise means nothing for Darth Vader's revenge. Um, and we get four blocks and downgrade one of the crits to a strike uh, on on the defensive uh, stance here. So that's really nice, which means that the, the revenge shot does nothing for the... Uh, for the for the dark side so we are able to take that top left objective for the galactic republic again and that does turn up priority uh for this activation magna guard uh, okay we can um just sort of position them um to reinforce that point and we're going to try and get a one shot on the aft troopers which we are likely able to do i think they've only got five health left which means three successes and that is exactly what we get so we do get the full tree on the aft troopers meaning a few shoves uh, but also importantly it means that we do get to spend a force for challenging the odds so we are going to take control of the of three objectives and a momentum essentially uh, because of the force pull for the struggle move so yeah uh, priority comes back up on the right hand side there which is fantastic for the aft troopers here because all they need to do is walk back onto the point but before they do that we will of course try and you know um, get some damage and conditions into those magna guard not looking likely though with a roll like that from aft trooper number one yep so soundly blocked by the magna guard and then we'll try and have a punch into um, into a Magna Guard with the second half trooper. They've been through a lot. They've used all their luck uh, wounding Asajj previously. So yeah, absolutely no damage. But they do get to take control of the objective. So that's essentially what's happening there. Um, so yep, priority is going to be the right-hand side, uh, which isn't fantastic in terms of the options that the dark side player have left and i'm starting to regret the um <laughs> the use of the challenge in the odds spend we do get kraken uh, who is okay uh, because obi-wan kenobi condition stacked him before it's left him with a fair 
few limited options. Um, so we'll remove the disarm from the wake up from being wounded. Then we'll use you cannot or do not let them escape to remove the pin. Then we'll do an advance here, which um, is going to put him just outside of engagement range with the AF troopers. Uh, and we're going to get some rolls. So unfortunately, um, not a lot of successes go through on the AF trooper. We only get one critical there, which is going to be enough to shove a Kraken onto the point, um, but not really really enough to, to do anything uh, substantial and it won't be enough to actually take the objective off of the Galactic Republic player here which is a big blow to yeah to the dark side so it's only going to be one point scored for the Separatists um, which gives the Galactic Republic player an opportunity to to close out the game here actually so um, it will be dependent on drawing Django uh, they could have reserved Obi-Wan anyway so Django is drawn here's a focus uh, to put themselves in range 4 of Kraken who is expected Exposed, uh, and they will need to get a full tree here so there's a lot riding on the roll um, but you know they're, they're in a commanding position and Django will be able to reinforce the point anyway so uh, five successes rolled for Django and roughly that is going to be a one shot so it does depend on being able to displace uh, Kraken from the point so a jump off the combat tree to get a better angle, uh, followed by uh, two shoves. One is going to be blocked by Steadfast, and then the second will be uh, achievable. There's the momentum from the wound, and then there's three points scored, which will, of course, win the game for the Republic. So thanks uh, to everyone for tuning in and watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do give us a like and a subscribe. We're trying to hit uh, 500 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you haven't already, it'd be a great help. As I said at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to contribute more to the production side of the channel, then do consider joining our patron, which you can do so by following uh, the QR code that's just popped up on the screen now. We've added some new membership tiers, so please do go ahead and check them out. Uh, I love bringing you some newly painted models in the Stormtroopers, and I really can't wait to bring you more in a battle report at the end of August. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time.